Hi, it's Heather again, and uh, today I'm bringing you a review of yet another Envy wig. This one is Taylor, and I've been wanting to try Taylor for a long time because there aren't many reviews of it online, video or otherwise, so I figured this might be really helpful for anyone who, um, say, likes Angie or a, a similar Envy style that, that's got a lot of layers and, you know, the lace front and the mono top, but wanted something that's just a little bit um, longer and maybe a little bit more whimsical. Um, this one really fits the bill. Um, Taylor, like I mentioned, has a lace front and a hand-tied monofilament top. Um, and it is from temple to temple, so you can part it multi-directionally. Um, the color is dark red. I actually really like the dark red that Envy has. I'm not a huge fan of the light red. I'm in that camp of people that does not like the Envy light red. Um, it's way too brassy. But the dark red is really, really, really pretty. It's quite a striking color. Um, definitely looks like the kind of thing you'd go to the salon to get dyed. It doesn't, um, it doesn't look super uh, natural red, but it's very pretty and it doesn't look costumey to me, um, but maybe that's just because I really like reds and I dye my hair red a lot. If you're in that camp, give this a go. It's it's a pretty color um, and it especially looks good on these shorter wigs. Um, so it looks great on Angie, it looks good on Taylor, um, and, and I think part of that is because it is such a dramatic color that sometimes on a longer wig it can be almost a little overwhelming. But it is really, really pretty on these shorter styles. It's kind of a combo of a bright, like a 33 auburn and a medium brown. So it's very pretty. Um, Taylor is a great length. I really, really like the length on this one. And the layering in the front is super, super flattering, especially if you have a soft jaw like I do. I've lost 35 pounds and I still have a really soft jaw and like no neck. So, um, but it's nice that, you know, this hair just is very transformative. It does slim you. It's really, really nice. Um, the back is also heavily layered with flipped ends, as you can see. And it's layered up here at the top, too. So you could get a lot of volume out of this wig if you wanted to. Um, and you can kind of see the layers now that I've played with it a bit. But I prefer her smoothed down just a little bit. And it really doesn't take much effort at all. All I've done is uh, take her out of the box, shake her a little bit, put her on my head for about 15 minutes before I started filming and uh, just played with the ends a little bit to get them to flare out a bit more. Um, and it looks great. I, I actually think this is a really cute style. The bang is a longer bang. It's definitely meant to be swept off to the side, which is no problem because it actually looks really nice that way. And you could always have that trimmed if you did want to have a full bang. There's plenty of hair to work with if, if that's something that interests you. Um, now, I do have one criticism, one criticism of this wig, um, and that is uh, that, as some internet reviewers have pointed out, some of the Envy wigs with lace fronts have this thing right here, where it's like the wefting stops and the lace front begins, but they don't exactly match up. You can hide it very, very easily, and it's one of the biggest reasons why on my website I will never charge full price for one of these Envy wigs that has this issue. Because if you ever wanted to part it on the extreme edge of that mono top, it would show. But otherwise, I mean, the wind will blow, you could shake your head out, no one's going to see it. The fringe in the front, the bangs in the front totally hide it so that no matter where you part the darn wig, um, you're still not going to see what I just mentioned. See, even there, and, I, and I'm showing a pretty extreme edge of the, the lace front there, and you still don't see it because the problem's way over here. So unless you're one of those people that really wants to part it on the extreme edge, you should be A-OK. -okay. And see how cute this is with all the layers and everything? I mean, 
I don't even have a comb in it and it didn't really take much effort at all to get it to move the part over and even though it looks a little sloppy it still looks cute in fact the sloppier it gets the cuter this kind of style looks because of all the layering it's just effortless you know so if you wanted that kind of rolled out of bed hot look you could get that with this wig easy um, because of all those layers I really like this wig and I'm glad that I tried it because um, I had wondered because there there weren't many reviews online of it what was wrong with it that people weren't ordering it um, at least not to the extent that you know people buy Angie and I think that it's just the materials like you don't I mean the the media you don't get to see as many pictures or as many videos or as many reviews of a wig then you're not as inclined to, to try it for yourself because heaven knows especially with Envy what the wig's actually gonna look like because the manufacturer photos never really look like the wig <laughs> um, but this one comes really close in fact I would argue that this one looks closer to the manufacturer pics than Angie does because Angie needs to be styled quite a bit to get that layering to to lay just like it does on the model you definitely need to add product to get it to lay like that like it does on the model but on this one, not so much. It, it just, I'm just playing with it with my fingers and it, and it's pretty, it's fringy, it's kind of casual sexy. I like it. It's sexy and young looking without being too sweet or too disheveled. So, um, I give it a thumbs up. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this one off since I've been, uh, yakking a lot. Um, so I can show you what the cat looks like. So she's got open lifted sides and back and the monofilament top, temple to temple lace front. And here now that the wig is off, you can see what I was talking about. I think part of the problem is that the wefting on the outer edge of the wig actually starts underneath the wig. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, um, but you can kind of see how that's folding. Uh, fluffing up right there. That's because the wefting actually starts here, which is nice because then if you know something brushes up against you, if the wind blows or something, no one's going to see, you know, your wig cap or or your your bio hair. But like I said, it does make that edge there with the lace front a little rough. And since I do try to be honest with my reviews, I did want to address that. But um, I will never charge full price for this wig because of that. So it'll still be a really great deal. Um, and it's really cute. It's very, very lightweight. Here's what the back looks like up front. And you can see all those cute layers and get a better look at that color, that really beautiful dark auburn and see how it's kind of like a blend between the dark auburn and a little bit of brown mixed in. A little bit of brown, it's very, very pretty. So now I'm going to put Taylor back on so you can see how easy it is to put her on and go. This one's really easy. Envy wigs are highly adjustable. Um, I like them because even though they stretch, they don't lose their shape. And so they're very, very comfortable, um, which is an issue for me because I have a really big head. But like I said, very adjustable. So even if you have uh, a head that's on the smaller side of average, it will still fit you pretty well, though I would not necessarily recommend this brand for petite heads unless you buy the petite page style, which is, as the name implies, specifically made for someone with a slightly smaller head. Easy as pie! There you go. This is Taylor by Envy in the color dark red. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.